It's like going into Narnia. The county of Wiltshire has long been a hotbed of paranormal and unexplained phenomena and in this video, one we initially wasn't going to release, my friend and fellow researcher Robert Martins takes us to a secret location to talk about reports both experienced personally and from multiple witnesses of extraordinary phenomena. We are keeping the location secret by request and for respect for the landscape where all this has been occurring, one of many sites. All I ask is you go in with an open mind. We're, we're going up to um, between. Um, people have had sort of apparently strange experiences. Um, it's a bit undefined what that is, but we're going to go up and have a look. And for people that are interested, this area has a lot of phenomena that. Um, can sometimes appear around here. It's supposed to ask, what, what sort of thing? Hey Rob, what sort of thing? What sort of thing? Um, we know, but... <laughs> yeah, most common is, is balls of light. We've seen them here um, a few times. Um, people have seen light beings up on up there, although it's 2010 was the last time some people from Belgium were up there. Have been coming for 10 years because they'd heard the area has phenomena in it and nothing ever happened in 2010 they came here walked up the hill, met on the way up a French team of people that were a bit further down the hill, who saw two balls of light, so they witnessed it as well. And the two balls of light came up above the Belgian guys up, up on top of the hill. And these balls of light transmogrified and actually had arms and legs coming out. And the only reason that I believe them is because we've had couple of light being experiences in the area as well with other people we, we you know we've seen mm. it um, yeah it's heavy stuff mm. but and Rob's only sort of touching the tip of the iceberg of that if I and he's completely off his trolley yeah worry. and he's completely off his trolley but yeah so we've, we've been talking about this for uh, a couple a few years now probably about 10 years we've been oh he'll we'll be there for a yeah. long hey, Mark. Mark yes would, like to walk to a portal? would I like to walk to a portal yes please Okay. okay, now, Rob especially has done a lot in this area. Portal. You might be sort of switching off now when we're saying we're going to go and look at a portal. A portal Percy is a paranormal researcher and wanting to know about higher consciousness and higher vibration, higher energy. This should be interesting, so hopefully you'll come along for the journey. Not, not, not for a home. No. Well, there's lots and lots of phenomena. Don't tread on it. Oh no, little snake. Sorry mate. Um, lots of phenomena have been reported over the years. Very, very, very strong area. We're going down to this energy portal. So Rob's done a lot of work on... He's, out, he's off sh camera shot at the moment. Um, but this is interesting. Early evening at the moment, no one else around. A couple of people up by the car park. That, that might be the problem, there's no one else around. Yeah. It might kick off. Might kick off, so... Let's go. Come in. <laughs> it's what we say that the, the veil is very thin all around here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Very far now. Okay, I've got, I've got shorts on, so I'm getting absolutely stung to death here. Are you right here, Mark? It's like going into Narnia. Not, not, not many people come here. <laughs> And people have seen beings come through this portal, apparently. Um, multiple witnesses. Something very important when you have multiple witnesses of the same thing. It might sound a bit out there, but hey. Oh, he tripped up there. There's more to this three dimensional world. come up and round it's a bit of a weird terrain to traverse but we're getting there this is where we had our experience in, or was that from, well yeah I saw some of it so this is the portal site or, or one of them around here oh. 
Yeah, two, 2014, this is where um, someone that I come out with, I, I don't want to say who it is, no, but they had all their equipment destroyed here um, by whatever's here. So uh, infrared camera, uh, trial cam, about four pieces of kit. Mm, that's what happened on, para on paranormal yeah, investigations. It never happened to me personally. But. Or, or needed to be fixed. And um, the person talking about a bit later in the evening, we, we all went off to meet some people, pick them up to come back. Um, Jen and the person were here, sat here. And they said that we, we went off and all the birds in this cop suddenly went ballistic and they all legged it. They could see glowing coming out of this cop. Oh. Sorry about the uh, combine harvester. Then they said that a big area of the trees high up was rustling in a localised area. And then they heard this, it sounded like they could hear, hear the grass moving and like heavy footsteps running up towards them and they both cowed back so actually felt a full stop right at them and Jen screamed and it hid behind him and he's like whoa Jesus 2014 uh, that went back to a team member of people that were not interested in, in this kind of thing at all and they were camping up on just up there and they saw a couple of orange balls of light which have been seen quite a lot over the years in um, that were not tractor lights or you know farm machinery or farmers and these balls of light glided through here they saw them come around this edge here and then go off into the hill and that's been seen a few times is the balls of light that shoot around the fields here um, mainly at night mm. um, so we're talking about balls of light that do roughly maybe about 70 miles an hour across the crop and then they'll go boop, up, do an instant turn, go up, shoot up. This is before drones were, you know, mm. sort of, you know, really taking off. Um, so it's known for balls of light around here. So I will do my video about my UFO experience, which I've never really spoken about before. I've got two of them. Um, but yes, it's uh, quite, yeah, a bit of a heavy head here, I admit. Because it is kind of semi. Yeah. Funny. Sorry, I've got this bit of story. Rob's going to tell me what I'm doing it off camera. Sorry. Well, thank you, Rob, for bringing us up here. It's starting to rain now. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, whether you believe this or not, that's not the question. We just want to sort of open people's eyes that there's more going on, apparently, than we think. But, yeah, lots to uh, might explore this a little bit further. Yeah. Until next time, see you later. <laughs>